little video to accompany the tabs I made for Always Love You Like a Good Old Dog by Oliver Anthony Music on the guitar. So it's gonna sound like this, capo sixth fret. <laughs> the bad run, let me try that again. That's the intro I want through real quick, so we'll go through all that. Um, hopefully quick. Who am I kidding? It's gonna be terribly long. Um, again, accompanying the tabs, link in the description. So, sixth fret, capo. The general structure is that we're talking about C, and we're playing with a couple of variations. It's gonna be pinky on the high E string, pinky on the B string, and pinky on the D string. Uh, sorry, G string. Uh, third fret. So we're going to be playing with those three variations and then we're typically going to go to the F major just F with playing around with this variations with open high E and open D string sorry about the background noise and playing around with playing around with fretting those at the first fret that's going to be the secret there and then from there, it's kind of just G, A minor. So those are the chords, just overall. Quick look at the variations we're gonna be working with. So, starts off, C chord, hammer on to the third fret, open to the third fret, pluck two more times, on the third fret, high E string, and then pluck the B string, that's gonna be at the first fret. Call that the first phrase. Second phrase, as I'm just gonna arbitrarily split them out for the purpose of talking about it here, it's gonna start off with a pluck on the uh, D string, and that is at the second fret, still C shape. So it's gonna sound like this, the second phrase. So that's. So what's happening? We're doing a quick intro with a, the, the pluck there on the second fret. Immediately fretting or plucking the B string, hammering on from the first to the third. Plucking the high E string, plucking the B string once again at the third. So it's a little triangle like, um, so it's B string, hammer on to B, E, what could be again and then continue that run down so we're going E B D strings the D is just open regular C shape so and then the D once you pluck that you pluck it again and hammer on to the third fret with the pinky so again the second phrase starting off with the D string pluck second fret D string pluck Hammer on, run up, run down, hammer on. Again, first phrase, into the second phrase. I messed that up just at the end there. I gave it an extra pluck to properly hammer on. I kind of killed the hammer on. In terms of timing, I'll leave you to figure out by listening to the music, but there's a lot of this, like, it's like, da 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 like, sequence of, like, eighths, like, always steady with then pauses. So the emphasis, and we'll talk about this more throughout, the emphasis is sometimes on the offbeat, which if you don't, if you want to picture that with another song, is, like, picture the entertainer, like, that classic old song it's kind of similar vibe that helped me to get this in my head and, and learn it properly so um again first and second phrase and then we'll hit the third so and now i'll say this is the third phrase it's uh so that's the
So what's going on there? We're still, so we're starting off in this shape that we ended off the second phrase with. Third fret on the D string, uh, sorry, G, yeah, D string with a pinky. And then we're just gonna pluck down the top three strings. I mean the thinnest three strings. And then once again, the top two thinnest. But now instead of the D, we're gonna go to the G. Uh, sorry, instead of the G, we're gonna go. <laughs> yeah, instead of the G, we're gonna go to the D. So the, the index finger over here, instead of plucking the next guy in the row, it just went down one. And then your pinky is gonna come up to the third fret of the high E string, and you're gonna pluck the same way. So top two strings, and then the D, uh, D string once again, second fret. And then as that was happening, you moved your pinky to the B string, third fret, and you pluck that and then back up to the high E string, B string, and then G string again. So again, that is slow. Oops, I had my finger in the wrong place. We're starting off here, pinky on the G string, third fret from the second fret. So again, all through from the top slow, phrase one. Fourth phrase now, you're just gonna shift pinky up and middle finger down. So this is basically like an E major. This is E major, not using the index finger, but slid one up. So this is the F major. If I brought my index as the bar chord, so point is, the next part of this phrase, it's, it's gonna sound like this. Again, so I'm in my F shape here with these three strings. So what's going on? Uh, we're here and I'm gonna strum starting with the A string. Importantly, you're not hitting that open E. It's gonna mess it up. It's just the A and downwards. You're hitting, you're strumming the, ideally just the, three strings there in a bunch without really touching the B string too much. You don't want to go all the way through the five, the, all these bottom five strings. You don't want to do that. Just the top three, the A, D, and G. And you're hammering on as you strum the middle finger from the open to the second fret of the G string. So you do that. And immediately, so it's like da 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 da, is kind of the sequence, da 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 da. And so it's steady kind of sound. You're, you're, so you strum, hammer on, and then pluck high E string. And then hammer on the string you just plucked, the high E string. You hammer on to the first fret. So strum, hammer with the middle, and then pluck, hammer with the pointer finger. Immediately following that, you pluck the open B string. So, maybe not immediately, there's actually a little bit of a gap, like an eighth note. Da -da 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 -da. Then pluck the third, third fret of the uh, D, uh, D string. followed by plucking and hammering on the B string to the first fret. So, again from the top of this phrase, so it's a little F strum with the hammer on, hammer on the, and pluck and then hammer on the high E string, 
open pluck on the B string. Pluck the bass note, which in this case is the D string. Open and hammer on again on the B string. And then pluck again the bass note, third fret D string, and finally open pluck there on the east high E string. Then finishing it off, you pluck the first fret because you're still holding your finger there from when you hammered it on of the B string. And now you come to the, the to C, the note, but it's on the A string, third fret, as the bass note, and pluck the B again. So I feel like you're bouncing off the bass note. It's like high, low, high. Um, again, through that phrase slowly. So we're starting off with the F kind of strum with the hammer on. And there was the bass bounce. What happens next? I'm gonna raise this uh, middle finger, raise this pinky. You're gonna pluck the D string and hammer on to the second fret with the middle finger into the C shape. So this is just C. We went from F to C. But the rhythm here is very important. It's, it's like you bounce off the bass note. Sorry. The last note there I hadn't mentioned yet, which is high E string, third fret, pluck. So I, I'm kind of losing myself in terms of talking about these phrases, but the point is we're back to the C from the F. We're on an F. All F, and now to C. Where it goes from here is some bouncing around on the same place with a movement of the pinky. So we're going. So we're, it's going to sound like this. So I encourage you to try and get the tune in your head as you're trying to learn it. So da -da 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 -da. I messed it up there actually. That's it. So that is, we're starting off with the C that we just came off of with this bouncing bass note. Sorry. On this C and so it's B string first fret pluck pluck the high E again with the third fret run down so that's B string and then open G string and then move the pinky to the B string third fret and so we're running up again to the high E string, back down the B string and the G string. So this finger, this hand is doing like a ladder, like G, B, E, B, G, B, E, G, B. Um, yeah, that's the plucking there. It's kind of up and down these three strings as you're changing where your pinky is. Finally, this is bringing us to the end of the whole kind of first phrase stanza, and it's going to be G, C, C, G, A minor. In the A minor here, I'm starting off with just these two fingers in action and hammering on the ring finger into its place on the second fret. And from there, you pluck, hammer on and pull off again, the B string, first fret on and off again. So that's, and then just after you 
knuckle off, you hit the lower strings again in a bit of a bunch, just a little strum. And then you hit go to G. So again, this kind of pre-chorus situation is C, G, A minor with the hammer on, flare, bass, and to G. And I like to do that like a down, up, down. So it's down, A minor bass, up again on the A minor before going to the G. Down, up, down. So again, that's a little flare here. Down, down. To be honest, there's a little bit of that up, down, up, down. There's a little bit of that up strum on these intro sequence as well. So C, C, G, A minor. You could feel that kind of progression. Flare, down, up, down. So what happens next sounds like this. It's not like 100% perfect accuracy to the record, but it's the best I could do. So what I'm doing there is, I'm doing the basic G major. And I'm doing up, down. The, the, the right hand is going up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. So I'm doing, and the left hand is going So that's an up down on the same place, emphasizing the higher strings. And now on the second, so it's up down on the second up there. I'm, I've removed my pinky and I'm gonna come down with my pinky on the third fret of the B string instead of the high E string. And I'm gonna mute the high E string. So we're basically transitioning from this sound to this sound would open as the interim. So it's high E string, third fret, and then open B string, and then high, and then B string, third fret, and then C. So it's up, down, up, down, up, down. So again, that's the pinky, basically what's going on. Just, just looking at this part here, it's, So third E, open B, third B, open B, first B. That's the emphasis there with this whole hand going, kind of like hitting the whole thing and playing with it. G, 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 C, something like that. So then you, uh, then you're, that's, that's the whole intro. Oh my gosh. 18 and a half minutes later, we learned the intro. Uh, luckily, the whole song is pretty much mostly the same. The chorus is gonna be different, so we'll just go through it. So, got to the intro, so... I better just cover some of the get. I feel like just play it again slowly, just in case that's helpful. You can skip ahead if you're tired of hearing it already. So, all the intro, slowly. One more strum of the C on the high, high E string fretted at the third. And then the lyrics come in. Well, honey, you're like the crack of dawn. So that's uh, just strumming on crack as one does with, again, the third fret E string there. And uh, what's happening next? This harkens back to part of the intro, and in the intro we went like 
similar feel, bouncy plucking on the high strings, but this time we're gonna go straight into this. It's just uh, keeping that shape over there. So that's from high to low. So ring, middle, thing, uh, point your finger, plucking on the high three strings. Do that twice, then just do the first two. So just high E and B and go to the second fret, the C on, on your C where you're fretted at the second fret, the D string as the bass note. So pinky now to the third fret of the B string. And you do that one and you do that again, but remove your pinky from the B string. So slowly again from, from the beginning of this uh, situation, it's so it, you're like, you're like the black of dawn in the dead spring love. So where it goes from there is hammering on from open to third fret of the D string. And remember, like I said way off the top, the whole pattern of the song is typically C with the E string to the B string to the D string pinky. So that's what just happened here. We started pink uh, E string, B string, and then hammering on to the D string. And on the where does it go on the D string? Uh, from there it goes. Uh, so you're plucking. So you're hammering on. Ronnie, come here. Hey, don't go barking over there again. Come on. So you're going high E string, pluck twice, and then to B string, first fret, pluck. And now there's a vibe change. Like I said, again, think the entertainer. Da 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 So it goes. So what's, how does that go? It's, uh, so, so we just did hammer on, two plucks on the high E string, pluck on the B string, and now we go back to the high E string, open. So what I'm doing here is second fret, D string, to first fret, to first fret on the B string, to the open E string again. So I'm starting E string, B string, uh, sorry, E, D, B, E, D, B, E, D, B. So I'm doing that twice. That's the second time right there. And then the third time you cut it off. So you just do the, you just do the, uh, you just do the, the uh, second fret and the first fret. You don't go back to the high E string. And then you go to the F shape again. So this is just like we saw in the first verse, uh, the intro. F with the hammer on. Second fret on the, what is that? G string. To hammer on, uh, open high E string. Again, uh, just thinking back to the structure of the song, it's like we're gonna play with the F. So we started off with the hammer on, and then we're gonna play with... We're gonna play with fretting on the first fret of those two guys. So in this first verse, how it happens, you do the hammer on little strum, and then you're hitting the high E string first fret, hit the C note, bass, hit that high E once more, hammer on to the B, first and I like to hit that bass again on the C note high E and then the D string at the third fret so that sounds like this again and then to C
coming off the sea, you're going similar to what we've seen before this. Uh, just a minute ago, we were doing... Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with the, the same plucking pattern on these fingers, but with the pinky on the third fret of the high E string. So it sounds like this. So we just came out of the F. Hit the C strum, and then put that pinky down on the third and do that pluck. So we're gonna hit the high E string twice. We're gonna start there, go to the bass note, come back up to the E string, and then you're gonna do this. So what that is, is hitting the second fret on the D string, hammering on pinky to the third fret of the B string, hitting that bass note again, keeping that pinky where it is, high E string pluck, and then third fret B string pluck. So I'm just gonna go through this first verse slowly. So honey, you're like the crack of dawn in the dead spring when the ground's falling and the birds are singing. Your world dies, it's my heart to ring every time. So that's the first stanza, the first verse. The second stanza is mostly the same. Uh, so it starts off again with just a strum of the C. So it's... So what's happening there is we're basically hanging out on C. Oh my gosh, it's getting dark. Hey, Mariel. Mariel, could you turn on these lights? Thank you. So we're basically on C with the pinky on the high E third, thank you, third fret. So we're gonna start off with just a strum in. And on care, you're just plucking, again, the same plucking pattern where we're going the high E string to the second fret on the D string to the first fret on the B string to the high E string. So da 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 da. So um, you're gonna start that on care with the pinky on the high E. So I don't, I don't care when I'm an old man. So do that basically until you've you've plucked the high E string three times. Now we're gonna change the pattern. Instead of going to the two, the second fret, you're gonna go straight to the, straight back to where you just plucked, which was the B string first fret. So. And then you're gonna go to the second fret. Now you will have moved your pinky to the B string third fret. And you'll, so you'll hit that third fret on the B string, and then the open E. Sorry, third fret B string, second fret bass note, hit open E again. So again. Wait, I might be saying that wrong. One second. That's right. The way I like to think of it is this steady. It's not quite steady, it changes, but it's like ringing through the whole time. I messed it up. That's it right there. Where you go from there, 
as with every other time, we're gonna transition to this variation of the C chord. So we're gonna just do that by So we're just going to pluck the open G string and hammer on to the third fret. And then you're going to pause for a moment. Uh, so the next phrase sounds like this. So we're hammering on to the third from the open G. Pausing a moment, plucking. I E to B string, waiting just a moment. And then doing again the same plucking pattern. So it's high E, open this time, because we're gonna keep letting this ring out. The third fret G string, uh, we want it to ring out. So we're doing high E, Second fret on the D string, first fret on the B string, back to high E. So we're doing that, we will have plucked the high E string three times. So. Really we'll have plucked it four times, but with that rhythmic da 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 da, -da kind of thing, it's the three times, so. One, two, three. After that third time, you just pluck the, the second fret and the first fret again. And then go to the F. This time when we go to the F, so we do our little, little strum and then hammer on. We're going to pluck the open high E and B in sequence very quickly then hammering on to the high E on the first fret. So it sounds like, and then plucking the high E. So it's hammer on. So you're hammering on to the high E and it's probably gonna be very faint since you plucked it a moment ago and it loses sound so quickly. But after you hammer on, you're gonna pluck it again to give it juice again. So pluck, pluck, hammer on, pluck. And you're gonna pluck the open B string, hammer on to the first. Sorry. Yeah, and then you're gonna hit the open E again. So then what I like to do after hitting the open E is hit the two bass notes. So the two strings that are on the third fret, pluck those. Hit the C strum again. Coming off of the C, so I'll do that whole chorus, uh, that second phrase there. So it's. Uh, the timing here is hard. So you do that C strum and then you do, you keep your, now your pinky is on the high E string, third fret, pluck the, high, the top three thinnest. So there's basically going to be six plucks, two groups of three. So one, two, three, two, three. You're gonna take your pinky off the, the third. It might be a little bit different, but it kind of it washes out. It's the same stuff. So, so that's six, right? One, two, three, two, two, three. And I just did the same plucking twice. And then you're transitioning to the pre chorus. So, so that's the same as we saw before. It's like up, down, up, down, up, down. C, G, A minor. This time, on the A minor, you're gonna pluck, uh, it's gonna sound like this. It's 
So what that's what's going on there is that you have um, your, it's just your A minor with your pinky on the third fret of the high E string, and you're gonna pluck the you're gonna put your uh, you're gonna pluck the uh, G B D G. Then the high E string on the third fret and back to the B string. So. so that's for me where I'm placing my fingers. That's uh, pointer, middle, thumb, pointer, ring, middle. And then you strum the A minor again. You might, you could do it just a down or an up down. And then, so you strum it, and then you climb down the ladder a little. So it's uh, just where they are, second fret, those two strings on the second fret. You hit the higher one and then the lower one. And then you just switch to a G, strum the G. What you're gonna do now is this, it sounds like this. So it's kind of a dirty strum. It's kind of a dirty strum, and what it is, is um, you're gonna take your middle finger, your, yeah, your middle finger off of the second fret on the G. So that's. And you're gonna hammer on to that second fret where it just was after you pull, after you give a strum, so. And after that hammer on, after that hammer on, you're gonna pluck the open D string. Da da da. So it sounds like. Da, 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 da. So I'm doing basically the same thing twice. And then the third time, you're doing kind of the opposite. You're pulling off instead of hammering on. And then plucking it once more, the open A string after you pulled off. So it sounds like. So it, on the A string, this is what's happening. Open hammer, open hammer, and then pull off and pluck in the context of the G chord. So. And then you're strumming the A minor. And then. This is the same flare as we saw earlier in the song. It's um, first fret uh, B string. You're open, hammering on and pulling off. And then strumming the G. Now we're doing kind of what we did a minute ago again with the G chord. Got to try and get some better lighting here. Really, I should just move. I'll just move. One sec. Record outside. It'll be fun. So, we were here. So there was the A minor strum with the flare. With the little up down to the G chord. Now we're gonna repeat the kind of similar thing of what happened instead of uh, with, with the G where we did this thing. Instead, we're going to do the timing is a little bit different. Instead of da 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 da, like actually, it's kind of the same because the first one was slower. Da 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 da. This time, we're gonna do the same thing, hammer onto the second. 
But instead of plucking the open D, you're plucking the B string on the third fret, which I think is a D an octave higher. So anyways, it's thumb, hammer on, pluck the B string third fret. Do it again. Sorry. I feel like this isn't right. Yeah, so the second time you do it, instead of plucking the third fret B string, you just pluck the open G string. So it's, sorry. And the second time you do it, instead of hammering on, you're pulling off, so. So it's da 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 da. I feel like I should go through this G bit again, just so it's not confused. So the first time, we just gave a strum. And then two times we hammered on. And we hammered off. And then A minor. Flare. Up, down, G. Hammer on once to the third fret on the B string. Pull off now to the open G string. Where are we going from here? F major. I'm using thumb over the top on the first fret to, to get the F. So this is like the first time we're really using that full F. And, uh, but we're not going for the high strings, just the bottom th thick four. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna push out your wrist over there, really push out your wrist so that the bottom two strings, high strings, are unfretted open because we're going to pluck those. So it's going to be, you're going to hit that F. So that was the high E and the high B unfretted. I'm really pushing my fingers around over there so they're not touching. Sorry, I was totally fretting the first fret of the B chord. It was supposed to be unfretted, so it's... That's what it's supposed to sound like. I was totally just dropping this here because I'm used to it for all different kinds of songs. So. Now you pluck that and hammer it on. The B string, hammer on first fret. And then pluck the second fret where your middle finger's fretted, the, the G string. And then pull that G string off. You're not pull, pulling it off to make a sound. You're just opening it to unfretted and then hammering it on again. Um, not again, it's the first time you hammer that one on in this sequence. So it's F, open E, open B, hammer on B, second fret G, hammer on G. Now this is not really like the record. It's the best I could do though, because at this part of the record, a second guitar comes in. So it kind of adds a lot. This is the lead into the kind of post-chorus guitar riffing, having fun with it scenario. So in this time, um, what I'm doing to emulate that is just, so you're in this F major basically. And what I'm doing is just, oh, freaking ant on my foot. What I'm doing is just, uh, is just this little lead up that, that, that. So it's F. And then I'm putting my pinky down to the third fret of the B string. And then just pinky down to the third fret of the E string. And now it's the C that we started the song with. So again, F, B string, third, string, third fret, pinky. And then C, uh, high E string, third fret. Looks like the neighbors are having a backyard party. Hopefully the sound's not too obtrusive. I'm hearing that song, I've got the power really ruining my guitar tutorial 45 minutes in I'm not redoing this um, okay so now we're just gonna kind of go through this this pattern of plucking and whatnot that we've been doing this whole time the same like general phrase it's like C with the high E 
C with the third fret B string, and finally C with the D string third fret F major, and then back to C. So what's this gonna sound like is like this. So it's like da da da. So run down, highest three strings, second fret, bass note there, hammer on the B string to the third fret, bass note, up to the high E and hit that third fret again. And then you're pulling it off to the first fret. And then you're, and I like to kind of strum the C. There's parts here where you're gonna wanna just give the C a full strum to, to flesh it out. And then you're gonna strum, so you just pulled off from the B string third to first. You're gonna hammer it on again, first to third. So, so the sound is da da da, da da da, because you're hammering on to the third and then hit plucking the high E. somebody so you uh, put it up so you uh, hammered on to the third fret oh, okay backyard party is in full effect okay they turn it down so then it's uh, third fret open E third fret open G go down one string and then you're gonna put your pinky on the third fret, E string, high fret, B string, bass note, second fret, hammer on that B string again, first to third, high E, open. So. So before you go to the F, you're gonna to wanna to pluck the open uh, G string once, so it's like. So that's open E, hammer onto the first, and then first again on the E, open B, and then I would recommend strumming here as you hammer on zero to one on the B. And then the run down, high E, open E, first fret B, open G. And then strum this C, we just transitioned from F to C, fundamentally. Open uh, uh, D string, hammer on to second fret. Third fret, high E string. So that was B string, high E string, third fret, B string, first fret. G string and that was like we've heard it before um, hey buddy hey buddy mm, got a little dog here um, hammering on first to third on the B string with the pinky high E string third of the pinky again open G string A minor and we finally got past these pieces of paper and now just one last more wrote this stuff all down um, so then it's yeah so. that part was the same as the first time we finished the chorus so go back to that section of the bit you should have it if you can't got here now he 
here. Uh, this is gonna be the second verse, first stanza, so it's like. Uh, so we're gonna do that C strum. And now there's a little pre, there's a little something something before the singing gets started, so it's. So it's. So it's two plucks, so C strum, two plucks on the on the third fret, high E string. And now you're gonna strum as you hammer on to the third fret B string and hit the open high E string. And then second fret bass note on the D string. <laughs> and <laughs> come back to the C with the Pinky on the third fret of the E string. I should just know these chord names, it'd be easier. Jesus Christ, this is tough. So, that sound again like this. Try and go through this quick. This video is going too long. So you're doing the stuff we've seen before. It's C with the high E string, and now this bouncy lick high E string to. Now we're going high E string, B on the first, bounce off the bass, bounce off the bass, da 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 da. And uh, give it a pause. So it's like. This is admittedly different from the first time around. It's pretty significantly different, the vibe, and it can be hard to learn to sing along to. So it's so. So uh, that da 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 is strumming the C, hammering on first to third with the B, followed by the high pluck on the E. So you're doing that twice. And then you're doing the C strum again, but with the hammer on to the D string. Same pattern we've seen throughout the song C with the. So you did that hammer on, then you're just gonna do a pluck high E and high B once, and now you're doing this same pattern again, uh, similar that we've seen before, high E, open. So you're hitting that high E three times and then doing the, the bass and the climb up, but instead of hitting that high E string once again, you're hitting the F. This time, per the tab, I should just refer to the tab and delete the whole damn video. So it's per the tab, it's gonna be open E, open B, first fret E. So it's. Um, open E, open B, first fret E. Hammer on to the first on B, open E, and first B, and then C. Now we're back to C, you put that high E on the third fret. E, B, E. So what's going on here? We had second fret, D string. Hammer on to the third, open G, oh, high E open, third again on the B, second uh, D, and open high E. Oh god, this is so hard. 
<laughs> uh, okay, so it's... So it's... Dun, 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 and then it's the verse again, so it's it's like this very continuous lick that just goes straight into the second part of the lyrics. Or it's like uh Um, honestly, I think I'll just cut this off here. I'm so tired. It's freaking approaching an hour. Crazy. Um, pretty much the rest of the song, like it's the same vibes, the same patterns of plucking. Refer to the tab. If you made it this far, you can figure it out. Cause I pretty much listened to the song a million times to try and figure it out. I made it through the first like full chorus, two verses chorus. And I wanted to give up, and then I realized the second half was basically the same. Thank God for that, or else I wouldn't have made it. So I'm going to leave it there. If you made it this far, God bless. You're a trooper, and you deserve to be able to play this song, because it is really fun. Can I get a hell yeah, brother? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Hopefully you can get there.